In this lesson, we'll go through six examples on how to use the water auto-ionization constant in calculations. In case you don't refer to KW as the auto-ionization constant, you may have heard it as the autoprotolysis constant. It's the same thing. And it is a constant equaling always 1 decimal 0 times 10 to the power of negative 14. And it doesn't have any units. To calculate K sub W, you multiply the concentration of the total number of hydronium ions times the concentration of hydroxide anions. And we've been given, in question A, the concentration of H3O. So all we have to do is substitute this number into Kw, the number that's given into where it belongs in the equation, and solve for OH. Here's what I mean. 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 14 is equal to 7.5 times 10 to the power of negative 5, and that's being multiplied to the concentration of OH ions, hydroxide. So solving this isn't hard. We will divide both sides of this equation by 7.5 times 10 to the power of negative 5. And if we find out that the concentration of hydronium is greater than the concentration of hydroxide, the solution is acidic. Let's see if that's the case. So dividing both sides by this factor, this and this will cancel out, and the same applies on the left side. Now let's use our calculator. Bracket 1 decimal 0 times 10 to the power of negative 14 divided by 7.5 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5. And this gives us to two significant figures 1.3 times 10 to the power of negative 10. And that's in molars. So let's compare 7.5 times 10 to the power of negative 5 to this number. Obviously, this number is greater than that. So I'll write down that H3O plus its concentration is greater than the concentration of hydroxide. Therefore, it's more acidic the solution. Let's try the next one, B. So once again, we'll use the exact same formula. Kw is equal to H3O plus times OH. And I won't show you all the steps this time. We'll fast forward as much as we can. We'll substitute the constant where it belongs. And hydronium is 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative 9. And that's being multiplied to the concentration of OH. That's an unknown. Using our calculator, I'll substitute the value 1.5 times 10 raised to the power of negative 9. And we end up with this number being substantially larger than this one. So this time, OH, its concentration is greater than the concentration of H3O+. This means that this solution is more basic. Let's move on to question C. Once again, we need to find out if the solution is acidic, basic, or neutral. And I have a feeling that this one is going to be neutral. Let's find out. Kw is equal to this number. So I'll write it right away. And that is equal to the product of 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 7. And it's being multiplied to the concentration of OH. Take a look. If we divide both sides by this factor, just like how we did with questions A and B, given that this is a 14, 14 is half of 7, so I know that the concentration of OH will be half of what we have here. And you can always verify using your calculator. Go ahead and type this in. You'll see that it will come out as 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 7. So this solution will be neutral. Question C happens to be neutral. Notice that in questions D, E, and F, they give us the concentration of OH. Now, rather than going through all the calculations here, I'll just run you through what you should do. This time, you should substitute each of these numbers for each question into here. And you'll use the same Kw because it's the constant. You would then divide both sides by the concentration that is provided, and you would end up with the concentration of H3+. If that concentration is greater than OH, then it is acidic, as discussed earlier. Otherwise, it is basic, and if they're both the same, then it will be neutral. And there you have it. 
That is how to use the auto-ionization constant in calculations.